Hello everyone, welcome back to Charmed Intuition Tarot and welcome if you're new. My name is Liz. Today's reading, we are looking ahead at May 2023. We have three groups to choose from and no matter when you're clicking this in the month of May, that's okay because we're going to go week by week with the charms. We also have the pendulum, we've got letters, numbers, and of course lots of cards. So I really hope you're comfy. We're going to dive right in. I thought first let's take a nice deep breath and I'll give you a close up of all three groups. can pause the video if you need a little bit more time. So for group one, we have the Page of Pentacles. Group two, we have the Seven of Cups. And group three, we have the Moon. So whichever image or card or number, one, two, or three, you feel drawn to, that will be your group. And for sure, feel free to watch more than one. And please remember my readings are for entertainment purposes. Have fun with my readings. If you're watching it and it's not quite resonating, then this one might not be for you. But I really do hope that there is a message for you today. And uh, yeah, let's dive in. Timestamps will be below. I want to mention too, uh, I always forget to mention this, so I've been trying to mention it more, but I do have a Patreon page. Uh, so if you'd like to support the channel that way, you can check that out. I do weekly readings as well as some bonus content there. So uh, I'll link that below in the description. And yeah, let's jump in. I'll put timestamps below. We'll start with group number one. Group one, if you chose the first card with the Page of Pentacles, and this is your May 2023 predictions. I'm very excited to see what we have for the month of May. I'm in a very relaxed mood today. May 2023. Ooh, something's getting resolved or clarified. That's good. Okay. Whoa. I'm not doing a very good job of shuffling today. May 2023. Okay. May 2023. May 2023. Okay, let's dive in. Let's see what we have coming in for May. You've got believe in your good luck. Time to pedal on. A little birdie says hello. Cleansing waters. Bear, what is with this bear? This bear has popped up in, I think, three readings now on YouTube. So let me know if you've, if you've watched those readings and you've gotten this bear before, let me know. Changes in your life. You've got eight of wands, six of wands, the Hierophant, and justice. Okay. Okay, so let me just aim the camera here. Okay, so let's take a look here. You know what this feels like? This feels like sort of moving, put closure. This feels a little bit like closure with something. This feels like a happy ending to a particular story or a fresh start, okay? With time to pedal on, this feels like you're moving on from something. Something could be getting resolved or worked out. This would likely be in communication. So something, maybe there was a miscommunication previously over the past couple months or weeks, or maybe you're sort of dealing with that right now. But I'm getting, something is getting resolved or worked out or clarified. Something, you're receiving closure with something. You can finally sort of be like, okay, <laughs> let's move on from that. So that's really cool, okay? With cleansing waters here. Purification activates vibrant life force. I might read that one. Every once in a while, I like to read from one of the decks here, but time to pedal on. Yeah, you're moving You're moving on from something. This almost feels like Eight of Cups to me. Now let's just talk about the bear. We'll address the bear in the room here. This bear has been popping up nonstop. And the way it's sort of come through for me is feeling sort of tempted to... I just can't believe this bear keeps popping up. Feeling tempted to purchase something or feeling pressured into purchasing something or signing up for something. I wonder if that is sort of what's getting resolved here. So problems to be resolved. This, whatever this bear represents. So if you've been seeing this bear in my readings, if you've clicked on a few and you've seen it, 
um, th whatever this is, whoever this is, whatever this situation is, is getting resolved. You also believe in your good luck. So it seems like your luck is shifting as well. Uh, another thing I want to mention is you seem to be, you've got so much about movement with eight of wands, time to pedal on. Like you're successfully overcoming a particular obstacle. It's like these clouds here with the moon card. The clouds have sort of lifted away. Interesting. Whoever this bear or whatever this bear represents, you they, we've got the justice card. I wonder if some it's like it's like something's taking care of this situation. Cause you seem almost like free from something, free from this particular situation. So danger and money matters. Again, it always comes through as like temptation to buy something, uh, somebody that has been like pressuring you into something to do with money or something like that. And just a few of you, I just want to mention, could be paying off debt. Okay, this is what this could be about. Paying off debt or making a particular plan of action to pay off some sort of debt. Because I'm actually seeing the Hierophant possibly as a, uh, a banking, like a bank or something in this case. So yeah, a few of you, a few of you are either making a plan to pay off debt or debt is getting resolved. Like with the ink pot, it's almost like, I, I don't know, it's really interesting what's coming through. I'm really just taking my time with this, so I'll just be a moment. Believe in your good luck. Let's actually read that one. That's the one I want to read to you. Whatever is going on in your life, you need to take care of the small stuff, and the big stuff will fall into place. Problems can arise now because of carelessness or judgment lapse. Avoid telling everyone your opinion until you're sure you know exactly what's going on. Think about the baby steps you need to take on your way to your goal, and don't take too many risks. Okay, as I'm seeing, May is not the month to take a major financial risk. Of course, I'm not a financial advisor. <laughs> I'm not saying you should take advice from me reading tarot cards on YouTube. I'm just saying the cards are suggesting that May might not be a good month to take any uh, major financial risks. Okay, just be cautious, be careful with your money in May. Okay, it says believe in your own good luck, but don't be arrogant about it. Think an important decision through very carefully before taking action. Your challenge when this card comes up is to dream, but be prepared to put in the hard work required to make your dreams real. Make peace between the part of you that needs everything to make sense and the part that wants to throw caution to the wind. So you really are finding balance this month with that, uh, which is really interesting because you've got the Hierophant too. This would be structure, rules. You seem to be following some sort of set of rules in May. I'm sorry, I just have to plug this in. But yeah, structure seems to be important to you. Having a plan, thinking things through uh, seems to be very important for you. Things are changing in May. So I'm feeling like there could be temptation to sort of be like very spur of the moment, very impulsive. Okay, there could be definitely that temptation. This believe in your good luck actually reminds me of somebody at a slot machine, okay? And they've won maybe $30, okay? And it's 30 more than they went into the casino with. And then they're like, you know what? I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling lucky. I'm going to bet this entire $30. And then, bam, $30 is gone. <laughs> you know, that kind of feeling. So I just feel like the cards are saying, be cautious in May. Think things through. This isn't about being like nervous or anything like that. Uh, if anything, I feel like you're feeling very confident in May. So it's not saying like be be nervous about everything and every situation and everything you do. Not at all. Just don't do anything that feels majorly risky, especially financially in May. Um, do your research. Ask questions. There could be somebody that you could get clarification from. Again, I don't know what's with this bear card, but I'm not qualified to advise anyone <laughs> in any sort of money matter. But maybe there's someone who you can reach out to in a question. So if there's something you want to do, a purchase you want to make that's a significant purchase or something that you're doing with your money that you might feel is risky, there could be someone that could advise you or help you with this. 
okay? So time to pedal on. Again, I just want to go back to that. You seem to be moving on from something or leaving something in the past with cleansing waters. It's like you're free from something. Something is no longer on your mind. Uh, you can sort of say goodbye to something, a situation. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling like there could have been an argument recently or just tension, a misunderstanding maybe recently in a connection. I think this is getting resolved or figured out or clarified and everyone's just sort of able to move on, move on from this. Some of you are traveling as well in May. I'm getting to just have everything really sort of organized before you go. Uh, so that the vacation is as smooth as possible. Of course, things come up, but this would be a good month to sort of make sure you've got all of your paperwork filled out. Uh, if you've got traveler's insurance, maybe, you know, just check things over, clarify, make sure everything is just sort of in its place where it belongs uh, for the month. Like, it could be something small, right? It could be like, oh, I forgot my toothbrush. Like, just things like that, you know, uh, checking things over, could be important in May. So let me see here. A few of you seem to sort of know what to do or what the next step is, okay? With time to pedal on, it's almost like maybe you were sort of, it almost reminds me of one of my uh, chariot cards. Maybe you were sort of trying to make a decision about what direction to go. I feel like you've got some clarity or you've gained some clarity as to what the next step is with something in May. You realize what steps you have to take or what what practical things you have to do. Uh, so this card is interesting because it's really encouraging you to believe in your good luck, believe that good things could happen, but also be prepared to take the steps necessary to help this along uh, is really, really important. A little birdie says, hello, let's see what this is about. I feel like it's a message or you're hearing from somebody or you're hearing from somebody through someone else. What is this birdie says hello card about? Seven of coins, interesting. What is this birdie says hello card about? Three of coins, hmm. I'm wondering if someone wants to collaborate with you. You might be, if this is in like business, somebody might be sort of in a similar place as you or going through something similar right now and they might wanna collaborate, okay? So this could definitely be professional. But someone wants to, this could be two things. So if somebody either wants to collaborate, work with you in some way, or somebody wants to work through something with you, figure something out, okay? So this could even be, I mean, lots of things. It could be a friend that wants to work something out, problems to be resolved. But whatever this is, whether this is someone that wants to resolve problems with you or just resolve a problem together, figure something out together, I think it's going to be a success. And I really want to emphasize, I think May is really great, despite the warnings to not be too uh, careless with like spending, be careful with this bear card. This bear card is really making me think of temptation and it has for the past two readings that I've seen it in. So like, oh, you need to buy this, you need this. It feels very much like somebody pressuring you into like signing up for something, um, you know, without giving it proper thought or research or or spending something or, or even, you know, those expenses that sort of reoccur and we don't notice it, you know, they sort of just, we signed up for something, um, I've done this about a billion times with gym memberships and it's not bad having a gym, gym membership, especially if I would use it, but I, I would sign up. Um, I remember one gym in particular, I did sort of feel pressured to sign up for the full year and I couldn't get out of that contract. So it could be something like that. So just do your research and really think through anything to do with finances in the month of May. Other than that, the, the month looks really great. I'm seeing a lot of exciting changes for you, changes in your life, eight of wands, this feels exciting. Six of wands, I see you um, experiencing a lot of success with whatever it is you're trying to do or wherever it is you're headed, you're on the road to success. I see some sort of achievement in May that you feel really, really good about, really confident about. And there's going to be a moment maybe where you're like, oh, maybe I just got lucky, but I don't feel that. I feel like of course you could have maybe experienced something lucky, but you also do have the talents and the gifts and you have 
you know, it was the perfect combination. That's what this is about. This month is all about a combination of practical steps. What can I do? What steps can I do? What changes can I make? Who can I call? Who can I ask questions to? Combined with just a lucky energy coming in for you in May. So use this energy because May for you is going to be a month of change. It's going to be a month of movement. Things sort of moving in a really great direction for you. Things getting clarified confusing questions getting answered. If there's been anything that's sort of been sitting in your mind, you can't quite figure it out, I think May is going to be the month where this gets figured out and you can sort of move move forward from it. So yeah, it does, it feels like a good month. I'm curious to know what this little birdie says hello is about. It seems to be collaboration or someone wanting to problem solve with you, someone wanting to figure something out with you. It's like you and another person both sort of recognize the same problem or, or are working towards something similar and the two of you can really help each other. So it's going to be a great month for collaboration, asking questions, seeking out information. If someone says something to you, maybe get a second, uh, maybe get a second opinion as well. Very interesting. This card too, I mean, you could be, just with the theme of the month too, you could be decluttering, cleansing waters. This could be literal. This could be about decluttering, clearing your space, clearing the energy of your space. With time to pedal on, there could be some things you're sort of, you know, done with, tired of, that you want to sort of pass on to someone else or, um, you know, donate or let go of. There's, there's some things maybe you're letting go of in May as well, which has been a theme. It is springtime. So I've been seeing that message uh, from time to time. So I like to mention it. You seem very proactive in May. I'm also seeing you feeling very thankful for something, very grateful for something. Things seem to be feeling more balanced in May. Any stagnant energy, anything that's been like, oh, I'm just thinking of this, this kind of energy, these these two cards together, this combination reminds me of like a pipe being clogged and then it finally gets like released and things can sort of flow through. So the flow seems to be improving in May. I think the only cautionary message we've gotten for May is because of this flow and this excitement is coming in, the, the thrill, the rush, the adrenaline of all of this movement and achievement, there could be temptation to sort of be a little bit too risky or, or sort of get swept up in this momentum and maybe make a risky decision. Um, so it's just saying throughout this momentum, throughout all of this excitement, um, just remember to seek guidance if necessary and really just uh, give give something a minute, <laughs> give something some time to marinate before jumping into any to everything essentially. Yeah, something, uh, an argument or something that was challenging is getting resolved. This looks really good. May looks pretty good. I'm really excited for you. So why don't we take a look at charms? We'll do the week by week look. Let me just gather these up. We can reference these and even pull more cards if we need clarification. But yeah, I wonder, wonder what this card is about somebody reaching out to you. It says it's a collaboration, so that could be really cool. All right, I want to mention too, the card you chose, this to me sort of feels like this person is very much in the zone. <laughs> they seem to be minimizing distractions in a certain way, and they've really got their sort of eye on the prize in a sense. They, they've, they've got a vision. This just makes me feel like someone very zoned into something that they're working towards. So I feel like you are feeling that in May. All right, so we've got uh, four spots here. This represents the weeks of the month in May. So I'm just gonna pull some charms. These charms could connect with what we've gotten so far. It could just be additional information. I'll get dates and we'll save the letters and the pendulum for the very end. I'm just going to carefully lift this up here so I don't move anything too much here. OK, 
Okay, I know the week where you're being cautioned to really think things through, it's the first week. So that's really good. So this sort of cautionary message is happening immediately. Really sort of, I'm getting the message to look at the fine print. Okay, look at the fine print of a situation with the brain, really think about something. It doesn't mean that every offer or every opportunity that comes up in May is going to be you know, connected to this bear card. I feel like you're very intuitive, but I think you might need to weigh your options with certain things in May and uh, make the right decision for you. Again, I'm feeling like consulting, I'm feeling like consulting possible professionals uh, in, in certain situations could be helpful as well. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> so I feel like this bear card is happening right at the beginning of May. It could be someone pressuring you to sign up for something or commit to something financially, you know, just look over the fine print, consult someone if necessary. Uh, think something over, give something some time. But overall, uh, the start of May, you've got the sunflower here. This is about optimism. This can be about confidence too. I feel like something's happening in May for you where a lot of people are very uh, congratulatory about you, very proud of you. They wanna sort of, I'm getting there asking questions like, how did you do that? Oh my gosh, like maybe that's why this person wants to collaborate with you is they see something that you've achieved, they see something that uh, you're very gifted at, very talented at, and they want to uh, collaborate and team up with you with something. So that could be what's happening, and I feel like that would likely be in the first month as well. You've got the compass here. This is about direction. You've got the door here as well. So you seem, with time to pedal on, you seem to be making some sort of decision in the first week of May. Uh, some new sort of opportunity or door is opening up to you and you're getting sort of unstuck in a situation with this little fish here. This fish reminds me of sort of feeling like you're in the in-between almost, like you're not where you came from, you're not yet where you're going. Sometimes it makes me think of feeling sort of trapped in a situation. So that I guess could connect to the bear message as well. Just be cautious to not get trapped in some sort of financial commitment that you're not feeling ready for. Um, so yeah. So that, but also just in general, the feeling of like freedom, um, choosing a different direction or a better direction for you. So the first week looks really good. You've got a lot on your mind in the first week. You're doing lots of thinking about this particular direction or this opportunity. Uh, Sunflower, again, you're feeling optimistic, very confident. It reminds me of the queen of wands, actually. So you've got the two, uh, so you've got the second, fifth, eighth, and 10th, by the way, for important dates of the month. Moving into the second week, let's take a look and see what we have. Oh yeah, so this, I think the second week is going to be the month where this, this confusing, complicated situation or misunderstanding with the ink pot, okay, this problem, I think it's the second week that this is getting resolved. With the bridge, you're moving over a situation, over some sort of emotional obstacle. It's complicated, it's, it's going to be less complicated uh, by the second week, okay? So you're sort of able to move on from something. I'm seeing you, look, you've got the birthday candle and the little little cake here. So there could be something you're celebrating in the second week. You might know what this is. A few of you might have birthdays. If so, happy birthday. Uh, th this could be something you're invited to. Um, this could even be you uh, with this achievement that I'm seeing, this, this success with something. This could be you celebrating that as well. The birthday candle can also represent a wish, a wish coming true, uh, making a particular wish. You have the card you chose here. You've got Page of Pentacles here. So I love that with what the Believe in Your Own Luck card talked about, about taking practical steps, doing what you have to do combining that with your good luck. I think it's going to be a very potent combination for you in May, is this combination of luck that's coming in for you uh, or change of luck combined with the steps that you're taking. Okay, you've got the little sandals here. This could represent vacation. It could represent leisure, time off. It can represent relaxation. I feel like a few of you might have time off in the second week. We've got the turtle. This can be about slowing down, taking your time. So either way, I just feel like the second week, there's there's something you're celebrating, something you're excited about with the Six of Wands too. Very cool. Yeah, this is really a lot about move, like movement forward, with time to pedal on too. You're moving forward with something. I feel like the second week is going to feel very lucky. Okay, into the third week, let's see what we have. We've got alert. So you're on alert in the third week. You've got a six here as well. 
Okay. Hmm. I feel like this bear card could be either the first or the third week. It'll be different for each of you, but a few of you, a few of you are on alert about something in the third week. The giraffe is about perspective, sort of seeing over a situation, gaining a different perspective. I'm getting uh, the clear message in the third week. This is the week to sort of get some advice if you need it from a professional. This would be a good week to do it. Now, that could be with your career, that could be with a relationship, that could be many different things. But this is going to be the week to do the research and to consult somebody about something that a question you have or something like this is the week to sort of seek guidance. I feel like you're learning a lot in the third week as well. There's a friend or somebody, I feel like it's a friend or family member, but there's somebody in the third week, it's family. I think it's family. In the third week who wants to speak with you, but they're having a hard time like the conversation seems a little bit one-sided, but they have something they want to say, they want to express to you. Maybe that's the person that there was a problem getting resolved with. It could be family. So in the third week, I see improvements with that. I see healing, moving past obstacles, particularly in the family. It says, I love you to the moon and back. Yeah, family issues seem to be a focus in the third week, but they seem to be improving Someone's having a hard time communicating or the conversation feels sort of one-sided. Hmm, interesting. Okay, fourth week, you've got the stop sign in the car. So again, the momentum, I don't know what, like I feel like it could be all throughout the month, but in each sort of week, like the first week you've got, look at the fine print, pay attention to details, uh, think something over third week I'm feeling more maybe resolving family issues but fourth week you've got the stop sign and the car so that's just a pause right to make sure everything's clear that's all that is it doesn't mean stop and stay there when you get to a stop sign when you're driving you don't just you know stay there it's you stop for a moment make sure everything's clear and then you proceed and you've got the little money sign here too so the fourth week seems like a week to just sort of pause. Things are happening behind the scenes in the fourth week. There's something you might not be able to see. There's going to be, like, I'm really getting the momentum is sweeping you up a little bit in the into the fourth week. There's something you're excited about. Something's moving really quickly. So be excited about it for sure, but there's still a few hidden details still. In the fourth week, I'm seeing you're able to take, oh, that's interesting. I just thought of AI for some reason. I don't know why that popped into my head, maybe because of the robot, but you're able to take the ideas, the, the creative ideas or something in your imagination, and you're able to sort of translate that into something. You're able to create something. Like something you have in your mind, you're able to produce or make something from it or express it. Any, anyone that has a creative business in the fourth week, I think it's going to be a good week for that. So this could be like, you could have tons of sales in the fourth week and then there's like, oh my gosh, look how much money I'm making now. I'm gonna go buy this. It's just saying stop because it, especially in that situation, if it's like a business or something, there's going to be good months, there's going to be not so good months. So that could be what it's saying. Cause you've got two moons here. I really want to emphasize too, like the cards are wanting for you to be excited and move on um, towards this exciting, exciting time, but we are getting a lot about collaboration, asking for advice, and just being cautious of anyone who maybe is seeing this momentum or this money that you have or something and maybe doesn't have the best intentions. If this bear pops up in another pick a card reading, I, I might like fall over. I, I don't know why it keeps coming up. It must be an ongoing issue, but it seems to be getting resolved in May anyway, so that's good. So yeah, again, for dates, you've got the 2nd, 5th, 8th, and 10th, as well as the 6th. Just making sure I'm not missing anything. 
uh, interesting. If you have a boss in May, the fourth week, they're talking about you. They're discussing you and your achievements, your gifts, your talents. So I'm wondering if there is a promotion. You're not going to know about it though, but they're discussing you for sure. Interesting. Okay, let's take a look at letters and the pendulum. The pendulum's in the cupboard here, I just have to get it. Okay, we'll do the pendulum first. Okay, think of a yes or no question. got a no so you can check back next month with that same question if you like you know I should have known this was going to be about um, possibly career or just being this kind of makes me think this person sort of zoning somebody out this bear maybe but you know this this to me is somebody who is creating their own luck so I feel like that could be partially what you're doing too okay let's take a look at letters Okay, so you've got time held N E F D A R O K E R E O A E R T A T A I a O H N W. This could also be an M if you need it to be. N E held and time. So let me know what you see. I, I never see anything right away. It's always when I'm editing. Hmm. Interesting. So let me know what you see. I hope that you enjoyed your April. Why did I say April? I hope you enjoyed your I hope you enjoyed your April predictions, but I really hope you enjoyed your May predictions. And we will see you later. Too, if you chose the second image with seven of cups, I love this picture of the cafe. Then this is your May 2023 predictions. I'm really excited to see what we have. I'm going to shuffle out all of your cards first, and then we'll dive into everything all at once. So May 2023. What's happening in May? I feel like just with this image, the fact that you chose the Seven of Cups, there could be different opportunities. Uh, you're sort of trying to make up your mind about something. You've got different choices to make. Okay, May 2023. Ooh, very cool. We've got two birds here. Oh. Wow, so some of you for sure are hearing about a pregnancy or a birth in May. Okay, so you likely already know what that is, but you've got the stork, so news of a birth or business opportunity, and you also have another card about news, so waiting for news, package, or letter. Uh, so yeah, definitely a few of you are hearing about a birth or a pregnancy. Uh, for everyone else, it could just be news about something to do with your career, uh, business if you have one. This is something I feel like you've been waiting for. That's why I'm getting the sense that you, because this is waiting for news, but I'm getting the sense that you've sort of been expecting this. May 2023, what's happening in May 2023, group two. King of Wands, very cool. May 2023. If I said 2022, I apologize. I've done that a few times this year. May 2023. Okay, one more deck and then we'll dive in. Oh. <laughs> May 2023. May 2023. This one. Okay, I'm excited. Let's see what we have. So, so far, we know that there's news or a package, something you've been waiting for or expecting. Maybe this could be the month, May, okay? So especially if you've been waiting a long time, if you've been waiting to hear back about something, this could have been something you started months ago or something that sort of you've been waiting for for several months. Uh, I feel like May is going to be the month. A delivery is for sure coming in in May. So that's, that's cool. Your other tea leaf cards. Wow, success assured with good plans and hard work and hat. 
you will be playing a different role. Hmm, I wonder, I feel like you're sort of getting out of your comfort zone a little bit in May. Uh, you're doing something you ordinarily wouldn't do. You're trying something different than ordinary, you're trying something different than you ordinarily um, are, are sort of used to. I, I see that here with the cafe too. It's almost like this person's like, hmm, I usually get this, but you know what, let's try this. So with the hat, there's something you're experiencing in May that is out of the ordinary, trying something new. So that's really cool. Unknown territory, okay. That seems to be the focus today then. It says you are exactly where you need to be. So May is all about this is completely unfamiliar to me. This is completely new. And I feel like there's going to be moments where you're like, oh, I don't know. I know for sure that this works. I know for sure where I was. I was used to it. I got really good at it. I, I'm i already experienced in that. I know what to expect. So this is, this is bringing in a lot of, you know, the unexpected, a lot of discomfort, a lot of the unknown, which is causing the discomfort. That's sort of what this is all coming from. But it's saying you're right where you need to be, okay? So this is sort of, it feels to me like, I always, I always connect this kind of energy to like a level in a video game. You've played this level so many times, you can play it with your eyes closed and then you start the next level. It's completely unknown. You don't know yet what to do. You haven't gotten used to it. So that's, that's kind of the energy here. But again, it's saying you're exactly where you need to be. I love this owl here. Owls to me represent wisdom, guidance. So this could be somebody sort of helping you learn something. A few of you are starting a new job. This is something that you have never done before. It's a completely new field or a new, you know, new place. You were used to something before. This could be like a promotion or something like that, but you're definitely having to get used to something completely new. And that's what's funny is I was feeling that from the beginning. I'm feeling like, you're discovering new opportunities and new options and and trying to sort of navigate this sort of unfamiliar time here. Okay, you also have Bon Voyage. Okay, I'm wondering if a few of you are moving too. Like with unknown territory, this seems, everything just seems so new. Bon Voyage. It's like a new adventure. Bon Voyage. You're saying goodbye to something and saying hello to something new. Very interesting. Okay, so your monology card, you've got talk less, feel more. Very cool. I might wanna read that one. I read that deck for group one. So, okay, tarot. So we've got six of wands. You're the second group to get six of wands. This, this totally, a lot of you watching group two are, this is simply a new job or a promotion or like the next level of something, okay? So actually my friend just went through this. She, en she ended up leaving a job that she was like really comfortable in, but almost too comfortable. She didn't see sort of any growth where she was. She had sort of reached a point where she was like, I don't know, like, there's no more growth here. Uh, she likes to be challenged. So this is sort of a similar energy. It's sort of like you've achieved what you can achieve with one situation. Now it's time to sort of move on to the next level, the next challenge. Uh, and it's saying here, like you've got what, what it takes here, success assured with good plans and hard work. I feel like you're more prepared than I think you maybe realize with your skills, your personality, what you have to offer. You have a lot more experience and a lot more, you're a lot more prepared than I think maybe you realize now. So it, as new as this is, as unfamiliar as this is, you've got this, you've got these skills necessary. So very cool. The moon, okay, that makes sense with just the, um, you know, whole idea of the unknown <laughs> insecurities, feeling very unfamiliar with something. This card too, with the talk less, feel more, you're really being encouraged to trust your intuition right now. I'm, I'm sensing there's a situation, maybe you're maybe overthinking in a way or like uh, something has become really complicated, but I feel like you've really maybe trusted your intuition with something where you're being encouraged to really trust trust your feelings about something. May for you is going to be a month of feeling, of emotion, of intuition. And also trusting the unknown. So unknown territory, the moon, trusting the unknown, trusting uh, that you are exactly where you need to be despite not being able to see it yet or feeling confused, feeling a little bit lost or uh, in the dark with a situation. 
You've got King of Wands here. I'm wondering if this is someone in your life. And then you've got the world. Yeah, okay, so this is very clear. Your message today for May is very, very direct, okay? So something is is coming to an end, okay? But it's, it's, I keep getting like the leveling up, like you're leveling up. This is, this is the new next challenge. So one chapter is ending. This is closure. This is the successful completion. You've completed something successfully. You've sort of learned everything that you need to know with one chapter or one situation. This is all about the next situation here. I actually might want to pull some more cards because this is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty direct today. Uh, bon voyage with the King of Wands. A few of you could be, a few of you could be starting businesses. Of course, not everyone wants to start a business. Not everyone should start a business. Not everyone has any interest in starting a business, uh, but a few of you might. Okay, so a few of you might be um, in that entrepreneurial energy. So that could that could be what's happening here. But King of Wands is a leadership card. It's personal leadership. I see you feeling very passionate about something and actually quite excited about something in May. I'm really getting, even with the seven of cups that you chose, sort of like second guessing yourself. Like I'm seeing this person at the cafe. It's like, oh, do I want, I don't know, do I want that? But, oh, I, I like that better. Oh, I, I didn't like that last time. Like something like that where uh, I, I feel like you are typically very more of an analytical thinker, maybe. You're very cerebral. You're very... Uh, in your mind, you're a thinker, you're very swords energy. So, so right now, all of this like trust, all of this unknown territory, all of this, you know, really leaning into intuition right now, you're sort of like, okay, can I trust this though? Can I trust this, this passion? Can I trust this intuition? You know, it's usually maybe a feeling of like, I have, I usually have a map. I have an idea of what something's looking like. So this is just very very new, very new to you, but you are a planner. I see you as a planner. I see you as an excellent problem solver too. Um, so I feel like you're, you're going to be able to navigate the situation just fine. I do want to read this to you. I told group one, I'm in a bit of a reading mood today. And sometimes, you know, I really love the guidebooks, but intuitively that's what I'm getting. Uh, a few of you could just be this Bon Voyage card, could be vacation, it could be a going away party. It could be something you're planning. You, you, planning seems to be like strategy, but not in like an overthinking way, more, more of a way of like understanding that you can navigate any situation. So there's a bit of like strategy here. Confidence is coming through really strongly. Interesting. Okay. Let's, let's read unknown territory. I feel like there's somebody helping you on the way. This could, for some of you, this could be the King of Wands, somebody who's really a great leader. So in this new position, if it's a job, for instance, it could be somebody who's just a really great leader or someone uh, who you can sort of look to for guidance and inspiration as well. The King of Wands is fantastic for just someone who makes you feel inspired. And usually after you've had a conversation with somebody who's the King of Wands, you feel so motivated. You feel like you can take on anything. So I'm wondering if this is somebody with this owl here who's giving you some sort of guidance uh, in this new role or in this new position. This might not be work, by the way. You know, this could just be in general, the energy of May is completely unfamiliar. The way you're feeling, the energy around you, different things you're doing, different things you're interested in, different opportunities that come to you. Because remember, we've got the stork and the bird perched. The stork says news of a birth or a new business opportunity. So for those of you that are business owners or interested in starting a particular business, uh, some news or some information is coming in that's sort of giving you this motivation or push to start this new chapter, to sort of set sail. <laughs> Um, on this new adventure. Okay, so you are exactly where you need to be, even if you're not consciously aware of it. I feel like you're not. I feel like right now is a confusing time. Or maybe you feel it, but it's just sort of like, maybe maybe your logic, I feel a little bit like your logic, your mind, and your heart are, are arguing a little bit right now. Even if you don't have all of the answers, keep going forward with your heart open. If you can't see clearly ahead and don't know where you're headed, keep moving forward. Do what feels right. Even if your brain doesn't agree, your heart always knows. So trust your intuition for sure in the month of May. 
you know, if something really doesn't feel right, of course, pause, get the information you need, but there could be the potential to overthink in May or sort of like talk yourself out of something that that is happening for you, something good that's happening for you. Your gut, your intuition, um, you can trust it. Okay, it says, instead of dismay because you're in unknown territory, celebrate that you're expanding and growing by leaps and bounds. So this for sure is a period of growth for you. It's a period of, I keep going back to the levels of the video game, like you're leveling up. This is a completely new level for you. This is like graduation, promotions, new jobs, new businesses, new goals, new adventures, new new places, unknown territory, maybe literally for you. For one or two of you watching, you're literally moving to maybe a different country or a different city. So this could literally be what it is. It could be actually moving for a few of you. It says sometimes the traveler feels lost, a lack of confidence and sense of being in unknown territory. It can seem that others know more or are more qualified. However, it can be this very feeling of not knowing that allows one to step outside of the bounds of convention and reach beyond the parameters of self that have been imposed by friends, family, society, and religion. So for sure, this is self-leadership. This is sort of breaking free from a situation that maybe had you sort of like boxed in or a situation that you've just become used to or maybe someone told you you had to do this or this was what you were supposed to do, but it never really felt right for you. So this is all about, May for you is about branching out to different things that feel right to you. They feel authentic to you, you know? And again, I keep getting that you are a phenomenal problem solver. You're very good at navigating situations. You're very good at coming up with solutions and, and strategies and different things. So trust yourself along this way for sure. It can be very, it can be a very good thing it can help you find yourself. Cherish those moments of not knowing. It's often during those times that the greatest revelations occur. Trust that all is well. You are where you should be. I just got chills all up my back here. When it said, trust that all will be well, you are where you should be. I feel like if you clicked on this group, maybe that's what you needed to hear today. Because maybe you have been feeling confused or like, okay, is it this or is it that? Is it this way? Overwhelmed, right? overwhelmed with like the next step, but you're exactly where you should be. Take it one step at a time, one step at a time. Just look at the next step and then the next step after that. And then before you know it, you're going to be at your goal, at this, at this place that you're working towards. I really love that. I love that so much, especially just about like trusting, trusting yourself. I feel like you're entering, you're going to be entering a time like May is sort of uh, opening up a time of really hard work for you, but it's it's work that you seem to be enjoying or very passionate about. This is something you're very passionate and excited about, something you're very gifted at. Talk less, feel more. Hmm. I'm wondering if there's some somebody in your life that's maybe adding to the feeling of like confusion here. Because remember remember this card said, not doing things just because your friends, family, or you know everyone around you says that's how something should be done or that's what you should be doing. So maybe there's somebody around you making this decision or making things a little bit more confusing with their opinion. So this could be for a few of you with the secret element here, look at the moon card. This could be a few of you are, are are keeping things close to you or just maybe telling people that maybe understand your vision. So for sure, that could be for a few of you. You're sort of keeping this journey a little bit close to yourself right now. I love this. I love everything we got. I think this is very straightforward for you. May is just the beginning of a new chapter. Something has come to a close. You've outgrown something. You've reached the top of a certain level. You're headed off into the next level. You're playing a new role. You're trying something new. You're trying different things. You're experimenting. You're really leaning into that personal leadership. I do think that there's somebody here that maybe you're looking up to or that could guide you or give some advice. It might not be someone you know, it could be someone that maybe um, you've listened to on a podcast or something, for example, or something like that. 
uh, somebody that really inspires you. Uh, some of you are literally setting sail on a vacation. A few of you, this is more symbolic of bon voyage, saying goodbye to one chapter. This is a new adventure. Uh, and I love just the image here, like you're prepared. You have everything that you need here. Very cool. You're exactly where you need to be. And then of course, news possibly coming in in May as well. Birth, business opportunity, or something you've been specifically waiting for. Success assured. Golden opportunity, very interesting. So let's take a look at your charms. I'll keep these close by in case we want to reference them. The charms could be talking about uh, what we got in the cards. They could bring up something completely different. Uh-oh, I keep doing this. I keep forgetting to clear off the previous group's charms. So I'll just do that really quickly. Okay. And uh, you can think of a yes or no option or question, sorry, for the pendulum. So the four spots on this charm tray represent the four weeks of the month of May. So regardless of whenever you watch my month ahead readings, uh, you could be watching in the last week and you could still get, you know, a week ahead reading. So this is the first, second, third, and fourth week. So let's give these a good shuffle. when I was shuffling you also have this uh, so this news that you're hearing could be uh, an engagement announcement for a few of you this could also represent you oh interesting the stop sign is out here I think that's relevant here hmm interesting okay just going to put that there okay Okay. Hmm. I think this came out because we've got the devil there too. I think self-doubt is really getting in the way here. Self-doubt is getting in the way of your confidence specifically. Because I feel like this is happening. Like, again, a few of you it's promotions. A few of you it's that you've recently moved. A few of you it is just a new adventure, a new goal, or something you're starting, uh, a new attitude even. For a few of you, it's just a new uh, a change or a shift in how you're feeling. But again, it's it's very unfamiliar, so I feel like there's sort of this, this feeling of like, oh no, I don't want to move forward, I feel frozen. So I feel like you're sort of releasing that. Okay, let's let's take a look at the first week here. Okay. I love how you have, wow, look at this. Okay, so the door of opportunity, the new opportunity, this was stuck to it, the key, and the heart. So this is about your heart knows the answer. Follow your heart. Uh, you have the answer. They're attached. The answer, you know, you know what I'm saying? So you have everything that you need here. I love that it's attached to the door. I think that's really uh, symbolic. I love that. Okay, lately, I don't know what, and again, I'm not qualified to give financial advice, but lately we've been getting a lot, like the last reading I posted, we had the devil card, uh, and sp specifically talking about spending, that could be happening here. Okay, so for a few of you, that could be happening. I didn't really pick up on that in your reading, but the third week, there might be a temptation to make a particular purchase. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I love, I love we have the brain here because I was really thinking you are, you, you, of course you're intuitive as well. I see that, but you, I think are also just very sharp, very, you're, you're very in your own mind. You're a thinker, you know? Uh, so I feel like this change or the shift that's happening is sort of testing you a little bit. You're learning new things like, you know what this kind of feels like? You know when um, in school, some children end up getting like skipped ahead to a class so that it's more challenging? Cause you know, like it's, it's almost like a situation where it's like you, you already, 
you weren't learning anything in a current situation. It's sort of, it was something was too easy or something wasn't challenging you enough. And it's sort of like, well, why do I want to be challenged, right? I want things to be easy, but, but really then we don't grow. So you're sort of, there with the school bus here, the robot, the brain, you're learning something new. This is completely new, new information. It's sort of like, oh my gosh, it's a flood of new information. So you're, you're definitely learning new things here. The teapot can represent friendship, sharing, comfort. So there could be a friend you're talking to in the first week. I love this bird too. It's reminding me of this bird, the message coming in. So I think the message is happening in the second week. Okay, let's see what page this is because there's another message. This message is happening in the second week. Yep, <laughs> look at that. Okay, yeah, you've got the page here. So with the bird, the message here, You've been waiting a while, I see, but there's a message coming in in the second week. That's when I think it's going to arrive. You also have two keys here. Uh, so keys, you've got three keys on your board in total. Keys represent a way forward, a yes. You've got the door here. I think you have multiple keys because I think you're entering a time of multiple options, multiple different ways things could go, different opportunities. I think you felt limited for a long time. It was sort of like, oh, this is really the only way. It's this way, it's always been this way. This has always been the way. And now it's like, oh wow, okay, look at all of these options. This is overwhelming, but I'm just going to pause, really listen to my intuition. I can trust my mind, I know that, but I have to trust my intuition as well. So for sure here. Um, somebody helped me with the name of this. I always forgot the name of this. Abacus, I think, is that right? I hope I got that right. But um, calculations, counting, answers, coming up with solutions. Week two is a week of solutions. Answer, a message coming through. Uh, week two, you're also, you seem to be feeling more confident with direction or a practical choice that you're making. So you're feeling a little bit more confident with direction in the second week as well. The carriage can represent a, a, a journey uh, or like preparing for a particular journey. I love that with the Bon Voyage card. You've got the fish here. Fish, what's interesting is the carriage is a long journey, a long kind of slow journey. And then this one is a long journey as well. It also to me represents just keep swimming, keep moving forward, keep going. You've got a one here. Oh, I've got to get you numbers. Okay, you've got a five, a one, another one, an 11, so you've got 11, 11 technically here. Let me just move your bird here. But yeah, bird, second week, okay? So second week, there's messages coming in. And then you've got a 10. By the way, I love when you come back and let me know what happened. Um, that just makes my day. Sometimes you, you like I've noticed messages of people coming back and, and saying, oh my gosh, this is what ended up happening. This is This came true or this happened. It's just super fun. So if, if you receive this message or package or information that you've been waiting for in the second week, I'd really love to hear it. But it seems to be allowing you to move forward here. And then you've got a one here. You've got so many ones. Lots of ones. Very cool. This represents ancestors, family, uh, DNA. It also, like the helix shape, looks like a staircase to me. So again, leveling up maybe got the little wedding charm here and then remember this landed on my finger so maybe a few of you are getting engaged in the first week maybe that's what you've been expecting for a few of you that also could just represent commitment some of you are attending a wedding in the second or fourth week of may all right alert so this is good because you've got alert next to the devil in the sec in the third week sorry uh, so you're aware of what this devil is, okay? The devil can represent obsession. It can represent things out of balance, self-sabotage, something we feel something we feel sort of uh, like we can't break free from. So you're on alert. You see it clearly. Some of you in week three are aware of an unhealthy dynamic with a friend in particular. So there could be a conversation happening. I don't see this as a major deal. I don't see this as... It's, it sort of seems seems a little bit like a red flag that you're picking up on within a friendship, possibly at work too, that is getting dealt with right away. Like you're looking ahead and sort of seeing what this could turn into. 
So it's like it's getting dealt with right away. I don't see that. I'm not feeling this as a major problem, just more of something that's catching your attention or something you're very aware of. If some of you are vacationing uh, with the Bon Voyage card, the third week would likely be the vacation week. So week one is all about learning uh, new opportunities. You're thinking something through, you're learning something. Uh, you're maybe having a talk with someone or, or a conversation. You're feeling comforted by something as well in the first week. Second week, you've got this message arriving. You've got a long journey. You've got the two keys, the abacus, calculations, uh, making some sort of plan. You're feeling more clear about direction, possible wedding or proposal. And you also have the little staircase helix shape. Third week, there's something sort of catching your attention. A little bit of a red flag with something you're looking ahead or you're or you're possibly avoiding a problem in the third week that could have turned into something later problem solving mode in the, in the third week for sure oh very cool okay third week or fourth week sorry Okay, you've got the teacup, you've got the wing. Oh, you've got the little musician here as well. That is just, like, I, I'm feeling harmony here. Like you've noticed something that could be an issue. So you're either removing yourself from the situation or even just the awareness is, is, is a good thing. I don't know. I'm curious what comes up with that. But the musician also could represent like, uh, this actually sometimes has a romantic element to it. Hmm. Or a party. Okay, very cool. So fourth week, you've got, again, you've got the elephant, you've got the star, you've got the doll, you've got like the chariot energy, the teacup, the little book, you've got the little wing here, the loyal friend, and the glasses. I'm feeling like you're either meeting somebody or an encounter with a friend. There's someone you can really count on in the fourth week. Like someone who's very dependable, someone who's very helpful, somebody who might help you solve a problem or see something more clearly or remove some sort of obstacle. Guidance, inspiration, somebody you're inspired by. Very dependable, somebody who listens well. A friend, somebody, I feel like you might know this person. It could be someone new, but I feel like you have some awareness of who this person might be. In the fourth week, you're making notes, you're making plans. This could be the week where you've sort of come up with a really creative, fun idea that you're sort of just trying to figure out before you share. In the fourth week, you're, you're trusting uh, yourself a little more as well. You're trusting the unknown a little bit more in the fourth week as well. You're feeling more open to receiving in the fourth week. I think you're having a bit of a breakthrough actually in the fourth week. Like you, you seem to have this confidence boost. Very interesting, very cool. I think someone's sharing something with you in the fourth week. You've got the teapot here and the teacup here. So there's a connection with the first week and the fourth week. This little dog here, a loyal friend. The doll, it can also represent friendship or a good listener, someone who's dependable, comforting. You've got a lot about comforting friends. And then the elephant can be family, but it also can represent removing obstacles, strength. Getting a lot about like family DNA here as well. The uh, giraffe is about seeing over a situation or seeing past something because you have the binoculars here too. And that glasses, clarity. Interesting. Very cool. So let me know what you think of this. We still have to do your pendulum and your letter. So I'll just put these up here and probably forget <laughs> to put them away before the next group. But okay, let's do your pendulum first. You can think of a yes or no question about the month of May. better okay so i've seen people ask what does that mean um so better means it's an interesting one because it can actually mean no 
or it's better than you think. Things, it could be an answer like things are moving better than you think. The answer is no, but you're going to like what happens better, uh, better than you imagined. A yes and even better like that's that's what I get from that but yeah so that's really promising now let's look at your letters and words. okay you've got the word took and but you've got an N a D I'll flip these over I'm never really uh, very good at spotting words until I'm editing so if you see anything, definitely comment it. I think it's because I'm afraid to take too long <laughs> to find words and make this reading two hours long. So, okay. So yeah, whatever you can see, look in the uh, comments as well. I'm seeing the word liar. So maybe, maybe with that devil in the third week, there's somebody who you feel like you can't trust. Trust your intuition. Um, Took and but. D N. I'm seeing the word goal. I'm seeing the word rush. Oh, yeah, we do. Seeing the word decide. Okay, this is more fun than I thought. <laughs> I never ever give myself time to do this. Date, maybe I should, eh? Okay. Well, let me know what you see. That's what I see so far. Yeah, let me know what you think of your May predictions. I really hope that you enjoyed this and it made sense. I'm really happy for you, okay? So you seem, there's, there's something, that you're achieving, okay? This is just the next challenge. Believe in yourself. If things are feeling confusing and unknown right now, you've got this. You've totally got this. You're exactly where you need to be and there's going to be people to help you along the way. Just make sure to ask for it when you need it. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this and we will see you next time. If you chose the moon card, then this is your May 2023 predictions. I'm very excited to jump into your reading. I love this image. At first I was like, what are those dogs doing up there? That's not safe. But I wanna tell you something that happened right before recording your group. I got an email and, oh, that's interesting. Okay, so I got this email and the, at first glance it looked real. It looked like a real email, but then I sort of paused for a minute and just sort of sat with it for a second because it had a link that you could click. So I think you know where I'm going with this. I just paused. And gave my mom my and just gave myself a moment to reflect, and I didn't click it because I later realized this isn't a real email. Uh, so, having said that, I feel like there could be something in May. I'm getting the sense for you, and we'll have to see what comes up. But I feel like you're sort of slowing down a little bit in May. Okay, there's something you're being asked to reflect on. Let's see. I'll get your cards first. May 2023. decks here and then we'll dive in. I'm just sensing for you the need to sort of slow down in, in May. So let's see what we have. May 2023. <laughs> Lie back, rest and relax. Yes. Okay. I feel like that's some nice confirmation that um, I'm going to try to give these a shuffle, but yeah, 
I feel like that's confirmation. I'd love to jump on here and tell you that the month is going to be full of twists and turns and excitement, and but that's just not reality, right? Not every month is full of all of these changes and, you know, huge events. Some months we, we need to sort of slow down and relax, and uh, some of you will like that news. <laughs> some of you will really be happy to hear that, and some of you uh, might not be, but let's see. Okay, so that's interesting. Okay, broken bridge. So unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Candle, you will be shown the way. Okay, so something didn't work out. This to me feels like pausing to reflect because there's a different way to go. And this kind of makes me feel like there's a reason why this bridge, why this happened or why, why it's important to sort of pause and reflect. So you will be shown the way. So broken bridge, it's like we can't go this way, but there's a different way. We need to pause though. You know, that's interesting. Okay. Oh, very, very interesting. You've got flowers, so happiness. That's very nice. Money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. Okay, so there's some sort of boost coming in. That's really cool. An answer you've been waiting for. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool your emotions. Oh my gosh, and relax. Look at that. You've got the word relax twice. Okay, let's take a look here. Yeah, okay. Very cool. This is really, really cool. Okay, so you've got the death cards, of course, change, uh, transformation. You've got queen of coins and ten of cups. I'm seeing a family very important to you, getting together with family. This seems very tranquil and relaxing, okay? So while we do have the card of change, of course, uh, it's also a card of like something coming to an end here. You've got the message of happiness. So this seems really good. I'm really excited to sort of dive in here and see what else we have, but okay. Okay, so you've got cool your emotions and relax. I love, I love that with the moon card. So again, okay, something has become there's a need for this relaxation, okay? Something didn't work. I'm seeing that here with Broken Bridge. Something wasn't a success. Something didn't work out. But what the cards are saying is like, there's something coming from this. With you will be shown the way, an answer you've been waiting for. This could be like a new direction, um, being re-guided somewhere. I'm trying to imagine like if this was a real bridge, you'd be, you'd be sent on a different route, right? You'd be sent on a different path. So something's for sure changing in May for you, but this isn't about abrupt change. This is not about sudden, this isn't tower change. It's telling you to relax. Okay, so a situation is changing, but it's really wanting for you to focus on sort of uh, going with the flow throughout this change. Really just sort of trusting throughout this change. Even the feeling I'm having right now, like I'm feeling sort of not tired, but a little, a little bit, just I feel like I could lay on that hammock right now. So I wanna start here, this hammock. This card to me is all about waiting to see what takes shape in a situation, because you're watching clouds, right? Waiting for an answer, this is rest, this is tranquility, this is relaxation, this is, like I feel like change is happening, but it's nothing that you have to push. It's nothing you have to force here, this is just change that's happening. So. I'm wondering, I feel as though, even though change is happening for you in May, I don't know that it's going to be obvious, all right? I think it's going to be very subtle. I think for you, what can you do in May to really relax? For you, I think that's going to be the focal point. Something needs to sort of, I'm just imagining like with this one, something needs to sort of like cool down, something needs to like something maybe became too intense, too hectic, too fiery, too, like there was, I don't know, it, it, I'm just getting this feeling of like something was very hectic, confusing. And even this image here that you chose, this person to me is sort of sitting out there, they're, they're, it's night, it's nighttime, and they're sitting out and they seem like it's quiet, it's tranquil, it's reflective. So I feel like for you, so I really feel like for you, May is about reflection, a pause, and an answer is going to pop up okay the other thing i'm seeing is you are you seem to be surrounding yourself with like family or things that make you happy 
okay? So I see you feeling very emotionally fulfilled in May. You've got happiness, 10 of cups. So there is a feeling of like feeling content. Um, you could have family visiting possibly. You could have some time off because this could represent vacation. If that's the case, awesome. I really hope that you do have some time off. Uh, but let's read this one. I'm actually really curious to see what this says. I've been reading for each of the groups today. Okay, full moon. In Aries. Are you in the middle of an argument or perhaps in the mood to pick an argument? Surely not. <laughs> or are you being overly forward? This is a time of heated emotion and frayed tempers. Anger is better than despair, as Abraham Hicks taught us, but because anger spurs us on to do something. Okay, so this situation, I think, made you angry. Okay, this broken bridge made you angry, and that's okay because it's, it's given you something to think about. I think May for you is about what changes you want to make or what changes, yeah, that I think you want to create. So let's see what else this says here. Yeah, anger spurs us on to do something, but you may get better results if you master your emotions. Certainly avoid stirring the pot or it could boil over. Cooling your emotions and being the peacemaker means you'll attract a more positive outcome. So I think something obviously has just recently happened that was a disappointment. So I think May for you is just a time to sort of relax, rest, and see what the next step will be. It says, seek a balance between you, 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 and me, me, me. There's no point in pretending that you don't have intense feelings as this blocks your manifesting powers. Uh, you need to work through your feelings by thinking of the people involved or forgiving yourself. Okay, so maybe this is something that you need to forgive yourself for. Are you being way too hard on yourself? The cards seem to be wanting for you to, um, to relax. Easier said than done, I understand that but what can you do like what what relaxes you i think a change of scenery might help you i'm really getting that a uh, change of scenery if you, i don't know maybe some of you are going on vacation but either way like a change of scenery not uh, also staying connected i see is very important for you in may throughout these changes staying connected you know not shutting everyone out i think is important so this card holds divine feminine energy and drawing it strongly suggests that goddess energy is on your side. Relax. You and your loved ones are being looked after. Whatever your heart holds dearest is safe and well. Okay, so I, I just want you to know that too. Because we have this broken bridge, the cards are reassuring you that you're safe. Your loved ones are safe. This may not be the time to charge at what you want. So think about whether you can approach it from another angle. So here's the thing. This broken bridge happens. So it's a feeling of like, no, I'm jumping over this bridge. Or no, I'm getting there this way. So I think what the cards are saying is, May for you is going to be a time to just sort of pause and think about going at the situation in a different way or, or another angle. You've got, you will be shown the way. So something is coming up in May that's helping you figure this out or helping you come up with a solution as to where to go, how to get there. You also have the boat here. So there could be a boost coming in, some sort of help. It says money, but I feel like it could be any kind of boost. And this actually makes me think of Six of Swords. So again, I think a situation seems to be improving for you. I'm looking at the water here in this, in this new moon card. It's very calm. Things seem to be calming down for you uh, quite a bit. And I want to get into this Queen of Coins as well. Okay, so it says, if someone in your life needs you, nurture them. Nurture and be gentle with yourself too. I love that. This card is a good omen for family issues, house moves, sales, and or purchases. So a few of you could, like this broken bridge, okay, perfect example, just to sort of put it into context. Everyone's situation is going to be different, but you know, you could have found this home that you just absolutely loved and then the sale, like someone else outbid you or something happened. It was so disappointing, so frustrating. And then maybe you felt the urge to just buy whatever else was next because you didn't want that to happen again. But instead you decided, okay, I, I need to pause. I need to relax. This was upsetting. I have the right to be angry and upset. My feelings are valid, but I just need to relax and, and sort of feel this calmness. And then you do that and a house that you like even better pops up. So that's just an example. Of course, not everyone's going to resonate with that situation, but 
you know, I really just think whatever this disappointment was, this broken bridge, this unsuccessful outcome, you're being, it says it right here, you're being shown the way. So there's a different direction. There's another way that this could go that you might not see yet. Remember when I said there's more beneath the surface, you chose the moon. So you might've intuitively known that there's more beneath the surface here, but I'm just getting the need for like calm right now for you. Calm, tranquility. What can you do that calms you? Where can you go? Again, for you, I think a change in scenery could be really important. Get outside, get fresh air, go for a walk, connect with people. Don't shut people out in the month of May. Connect with your family, your friends. Uh, take good care of yourself, okay? I want to uh, get into this Queen of Coins in a minute, but just to start here, take really good care of yourself. I see you feeling, I mean, this card says it, nurture and be gentle with yourself too, but you're, you're, you're feeling very nurturing to those around you as well. There's just a general sense of harmony being restored in a situation. So this could have already happened. Something really made you angry, something that you were hoping for didn't work out, but it's saying lie back, rest, relax. Something there's, there's, I know it's so difficult to, to do that when you're upset or if you want something to change, but this change is happening regardless. Remember, this isn't sudden tower change. This is slow change. This is endings leading to new beginnings, okay? And I don't know, I just, I just with happiness too, I just feel like you're either, with answer you've been waiting for, you're getting some sort of good news or reassurance in May that's going to make this make a little bit more sense. Okay, so yes, this card is a good omen for family issues, house moves, sales, or purchases, or someone or something that needs protection. So that's really cool as well. You've got a lot here about you're protected, you're safe. Throughout these changes, you're safe. Changes that are happening now seem to be improving a situation. It says spend time with people you love and who love you. Develop a thicker skin, cherish what you have, and you'll have more to cherish. And I like what it says here, when I nurture myself, life nurtures me back. So the cards could not be more clear. May for you is a time of tranquility, relaxation, rest, vacation if you can, time out, even if it's an hour. Like I know everyone has busy lives. There's lots going on. Uh, you know, life doesn't stop just because we want a rest, but where can you carve out this time for relaxation? Lean into the people around you. For example, if you have kids, like, is there someone you could ask for help for this month? You know, just to get some help. Um, because I see you as the nurturer. I see you as somebody who sort of takes care of everything and everyone. So how can you take care of yourself in May? This is crucial. This is crucial because this is going to either provide you with the answer you've been looking for. It's going to just be good for you in general, like relaxation, timeouts. I don't see, again, I don't see May as a month full of drastic changes and a lot of movement and a lot of like sudden things or surprises. I see it as a month of, of calm, relaxation, rest, recovery specifically, healing, calmness, a, a vacation, being able to sort of put something out of your mind for the, for a little while too. I see it as a time to get together with people, do things, change of scenery, go to the barbecue, go to the get together, call your cousin, go for a walk with your friend, connect. This month, connect, okay? Connect with family and nurture yourself, take very good care of yourself as well. Financially, uh, career-wise, I see this as a pretty good month, I have to say, uh, especially with the boat. Some things improving at work, possibly to do with money, an answer you've been looking for, there's a solution, and queen of coins. You seem comfortable uh, in, in May. I think that's actually a good way to sort of describe the month is comfortable. Something that was really bubbly and intense sort of seems to be really you know, much more tolerable. So it, it does, it seems like, I'll say, I feel like May's energy is going to be different from April. So I don't know what that says about April, but I feel like April, maybe that's when this broken bridge happened. Lie back, rest and relax.
Okay, before we move to charms, I might want to just read that one too. I'm in a reading mood today. Okay, I love this. It says, lie back, relax, put everything aside and take time to renew your energy. It's often when you totally relax that new insights and awareness can emerge. So if you're putting tons of pressure on yourself, this isn't helping you right now. If you're trying to come up with answers and solutions and you're like pressuring yourself, that's sort of the time to relax. Like if I'm trying to do something and it's not working, sometimes I'll just sort of keep pushing at it. And persistence, you know, can count for a lot. Persistence, you know, is great. But sometimes we need to take a step back from something in order to sort of have clarity. And then we can reapproach it when we're feeling a little bit more calm or a little bit more clear. Uh, remember, this, this isn't saying that these emotions are a bad thing. These emotions can sometimes facilitate change. Anger can be a very useful uh, manifestation tool. Our emotions are important. Our emotions are valid. So this isn't saying that this is bad. It's not saying that having these intense emotions about this disappointing situation isn't valid. You know, all it's saying is May for you is going to be a month to sort of recover from this. And then the answers will sort of take shape. I'm really seeing that with the clouds here. It says, it's often when you totally relax that new insights and awareness can emerge. Take deep, full breaths. Put your feet up. Be present in the moment. Do nothing. Watch clouds. The answers that you seek will emerge easily. But first you need to stop all activity. Take naps. Evaluate your life. Immediately, seeing your cards, it, it is very reflective. Okay, so there are times when the most empowering thing the traveler can do is step off the path, stretch out, and lie on the earth to watch the clouds float by for you. Uh, connecting with the earth is very important. Getting grounded. Sorry, I have to plug this in, but... Uh, oh, I just imagined with flowers, some of you are into gardening. That's going to be a wonderful thing to do to relax in May. If you're not into gardening, like I love going to my local garden center. That's actually one of my places that I like going. It, it does recharge me. It resets me. I don't know what it is about it, but being in nature, your connection to nature right now is important in May. So being outdoors, crucial for you, okay? If there's somewhere you can go uh, that has lots of flowers, gardens, that's really important for you, okay? It says... This act of renewing and regenerating, when all of the activity of the road diminishes and the traveler allows the languid, I don't know if that's the right way to pronounce it, relaxation to emerge, this is most often the time when the presence of spirit can be felt. This is also the time when significant signs appear. Whatever is the most relaxing to you, stretching out in a hammock, watching clouds, taking a candlelit bath, walking on the seashore, do it. Yeah, this is the month, do it. It's, it's, it's a necessity, okay? Um, and the challenges in your life will diminish and often simply drop away. You've been through this before. You've been through this broken bridge before and you've come through, you've figured out a solution. I see you as a very, I see you as very practical, okay? I see you as very practical. You're good at coming up with practical solutions. Okay, so you're going to come up with a solution to this if you haven't yet, or the answer you, I mean, it says it right there, the answer you've been waiting for. Some solution is popping up, but it's going to require you to take the pressure off yourself and make some time for relaxation. You're, you're getting permission here to do nothing, <laughs> to, to take a time out, to pause, to rest, to relax, to lay back. I think, you know, there, there could be an important reason for that. Prioritize getting together with people you love or connecting with them, uh, your friends, your family, even if it has to be on the phone, um, that's going to be important. And candle, like you'll be shown the way. So there's an answer coming up here. You've got two cards really suggesting that a different direction is going to come up. It's like if you approach this bridge, it's like, no, you can't go over this bridge, but I can tell you the other way to go. Uh, to get there. So you, you seem uh, overall like you've got happiness. Something is making you happy in May. Very cool. I just want to see if anything else is coming up. I might want to pull one more card just to sort of finish the cards off the Empress. Look at that. Okay, so I'm also getting for you, uh, for a lot of you, creativity in May is important as well. So leaning into your creativity. I'm no, I was noticing that here with the Queen of Coins, with the Empress. Actually, this, this card talked about like goddess energy. So that's really interesting. But uh, your creativity could be something that's really relaxing for you as well. This too, I feel like 
Ooh, I'm getting a lot with like the death card. Like this ending is leading to a new beginning. Abundance. You, you do have a lot of abundance here. And even with the boat card. I wonder for a few of you, if going over this bridge, hmm. Okay, going back to the house example. Remember I gave the example of someone wanting to buy a house. It was their dream house. Maybe if they had bought that house, there was a bunch of foundation issues, plumbing issues. The neighbors were just awful. Maybe as disappointing as it was, maybe there was a reason. You know, I, that could be happening for a few of you. But yeah, this is leading to abundance. Fertility, new beginnings. This is, like this, this ending is leading to a new beginning. But for a lot of you, again, your creativity. The Queen of Coins is extremely creative, as is the Empress. So, you know, is there something you can do that is just really relaxing and creative just for the sake of it? Like, just to express yourself creatively. Very cool. Okay, I do want to jump to your charms here, but I love everything we have. Okay. Okay, let's look at your charms. I feel very relaxed too. I feel like I could probably have a nap. Maybe that's how you're feeling. So May is the month to do it. Okay. So let's get some important dates here. Okay, you've got the second, the first, and the 11th. So that also could be the 11th and the 12th. Those numbers could have other significance to you as well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Lots fell here. Okay, let me just lift this up. Okay, wow. I just want to turn some of these over. Hmm. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just noticing a lot here. I just want to absorb this. Okay, so first of all, you got the stop sign here. So that's that makes a lot of sense. To just sort of pause in May. It doesn't mean you're not moving forward. Remember it said like in the One Sacred Traveler card, like stepping off of the path to just sort of recuperate to rest is important. So this could just be the sign to stop. You do have the Circus 10 here, which can be about like something that's chaotic, distracting, really busy, really hectic, uh, too much, too much going on kind of feeling uh, with the Circus 10 here. So that seems to be what's sort of stopping. Uh, something that has become hectic too much. You're sort of, May seems like a month to sort of collect your thoughts and, and gain some clarity here too. We've got the glasses. So there's clarity here. You seem more positive or optimistic about something in the first week too. So I feel like the card talking about the answer you've been looking for could be happening right away, <laughs> right away or early on in the month because you seem clear. You seem really optimistic. The uh, ice cream cone is truly about inner child, having fun, treating yourself, doing things that are fulfilling and enjoyable just because it could be also like six of cups energy. So there with the creativity as well. I do feel like connection is important. Uh, you know, I was feeling collaboration, but not so much professionally, more so just uh, because I think getting like, I'm, I'm getting the, even with this image, I just feel like connecting right now is important getting out of i'm almost imagining like you like a change i just i guess sorry i'm having a hard time finding my words today but um a change of scenery is what it really comes down to a change of scenery getting outside could really be important you've got the sun here too okay okay now i want to talk really quickly about that boat card because i'm seeing here you definitely uh there could be some more money coming in, a boost, 
some sort of windfall or money you didn't expect coming in. So some sort of money you didn't expect. I feel like for a lot of you, it's just uh, something like extra on your check or a bonus or possibly taxes coming in or something like that. I'm getting specifically to sort of uh, save it in a certain way. Like there might be things you have to use it for, but I'm getting like you, you might have a little extra to save um, or you're being very uh, thoughtful about how you're spending possibly like you're you're being very because you got the the uh, lobster here can talk about a financial pinch so there could be an expense that this extra is sort of helping with in the second week you've got a lot about uh you've got the barking dog here and then you've got this dog here so there's a lot about a friend trying to connect with you and then connectedness here the the feel the feeling of collaboration again not so much professionally but more so just friendship you've got partnership here two of cups energy so you're getting a lot about like connecting with someone uh going out meeting new people possibly even uh connecting with people even if it has to be online but not shutting yourself out or pushing people away is is important right now uh, a friend could help you with perspective you've got the giraffe on top of the dog connected to an emotional situation it's really cool too the pattern this is making so it's like a perspective sort of helping you redirect something because you've got the giraffe is about perspective the friend you've got the ring there so that can be about commitment so clarity gained through a different perspective, possibly connected to a friend. Very interesting. But yeah, the sunglasses and the sun. This one's about like optimism and the sun, of course, uh, in tarot can be about optimism. I'm sort of seeing like relaxation is really, it's like, it's changing your outlook of something. You've got imagination here. The alert charm being here, like something is alerting you to stop or pause, take a time out. Hmm, interesting. You're learning some new information in the first week as well. Wow, a lot going on in that first week. It's very cool. Into the second week, you have something is paying off in the second week. Okay, so that could be connected to the card talking about an answer you've been waiting for. I'm trying to connect when that might be. I feel like maybe second week. Just because the gumball machine can be about like putting something in and getting something back, receiving something, a reward. You've got the leaf too, which is about letting go, releasing something, also transformation. This death card seems more about like release so that something new can come in. Some of you are sort of realizing that something that you initially wanted, you no longer want. You've changed your mind about something. So you're sort of taking May to sort of reflect. You've, you've changed your mind and you're allowed to do that. So yeah, a lot about a friend trying to contact you in the second week. Hmm, very cool. Into the third week we have, let me just piece this together here. Well, look at this. Yeah, you've got the key, the answer. I keep going back to this because you've got the, the giraffe is perspective, view, a different view, a different point of view. Someone could be helping you with your perspective or helping clarify something that maybe you can't see right now. Sometimes when we're too close to something, it's hard to navigate. You're, the third week is sort of like a fresh energy. The third week seems particularly healing. You're also possibly uh, solving a confusing situation in the third week. But there's a lot about cleansing, healing, understanding, wisdom. This pirate charm can represent adventure sometimes. Today it's making me think of Captain Hook. So I wonder if there's a connection there to what we're getting. Let me know what you think. But this typically is like adventure. Hmm. I'm noticing the sword today. Hmm. I'm getting like, maybe there's an understanding. Like in the third week, maybe you're sort of understanding like with the candle and the broken bridge, maybe the third week is sort of things are just clicking into place possibly. Because this is actually kind of reminding me of the King of Swords or something today. 
the bottle of pop can be about bottled up emotions. Uh, so definitely, okay, yeah, the third week is not like, I'm getting just sort of this feeling of like being maybe a little bit secretive, which is okay, but I'm getting so much of an openness and connection in the month of May for you. So I think that that could be important. Hmm. Very cool. Okay, and then in the fourth week, you have the love, you've got learn. You've got something you're celebrating in the fourth week with family, possibly. There could be like a family reunion or something happening in the fourth week. You've got potential for financial growth in the fourth week. That could be something at work. That could be something that the cards really didn't even touch on because the cards didn't seem so much focused on this boat today. It's just saying that there's possible money coming in. You've got the queen of coins. You've got a lot about abundance, but you've also got all these messages about relax. So money could be coming in in the fourth week, possibly, but I also noticed it here with the purse. Hmm. This is too also just about potential for rapid growth. Hmm. But yeah, either way, there's something you're celebrating in the fourth week with family specifically. Hmm. Very interesting. So I want to do your pendulum and your letters, but that looks pretty good. I like everything that we got there. Okay. So let's do your pendulum first. Okay, so we're gonna do your pendulum first. So think of a yes or no question, and then we'll do your letters and then that will be good. So pause if you need to. Okay, better. You're the second group to get this today. Uh, so better just literally means better, which I love for your group specifically because of this broken bridge and the example I gave, even with the you know comparison to somebody like being disappointed about something, but something better uh, is waiting for them. So that's really interesting. Okay, let's do your letters. Sometimes when we get groups about relaxing or time out or like four of swords recuperation, I see like comments getting angry <laughs> because, you know, they want change or they want, you know, uh, big things to happen. But, you know, that's just, I have to read the cards as they come up and not every month is going to be, you know, full of all of these drastic changes. This one feels like a pretty calm month, but there's there's still change happening. You have the card of change. It's just not so obvious. Or the pressure is being lifted anyway. So you've got so much about relaxing, watching clouds, sitting back, relaxing, waiting for an answer. fun with this of course you've got the word felt so d-o-s-e-f-a-h-n-p-l-h-r-g-r-t-a-r-i-v-e-d-s-e-n-n-o i'm seeing the word revelation Revelation with an I. Rev, uh. That's interesting. Felt a revelation. Felt a revelation. Saw a revelation is on the other side. That's really cool. I'm seeing later.
later on. Is there an Eva watching? Seed. Read. Okay, well, let me know what you see. Um, I hope that you enjoyed your May predictions. Just remember, even though it might not be obvious in May, changes are definitely happening. You're headed in the right direction now. You're being redirected. Um, and it's saying like an answer, an answer will come up, okay? Also, you've got definite signs of possible uh, boosts of some kind to do with abundance. So I really hope that you enjoy this and we will see you next time.